Hi, I'm Amy Gillespie, Executive Director at Cornwall Community Hospital Foundation, and today we're here to talk to you about Dancing with the CCH Stars. It's coming up live on March 4th, and I have one of our fantastic dance teams here to tell you more. Can you uh, tell us who you are? I'm Céline Lemire. I'm one of the hospitalists and emergency physicians at the Cornwall Hospital. And I'm Anthony Powell. I'm one of the instructors and one of the family that owns Powell School of Dance. Fantastic. So I have to say that this is the lady who helped us <laughs> start it all. Um, I mean, I could tell the story, but I like to hear it from you, Celine. Yeah, I was, I was in Ottawa five years ago. I can't believe it was five years ago. And I saw a poster for, for the Ottawa Hospital. They call it Dancing with the, the Docs. And so I took a screen cap of it and I sent it to Amy. And I said, why can't we do this in Cornwall? And Amy was super excited. She thought about it before. You thought about it before. Yeah. And we wondered if there'd be enthusiasm for doing that. So we kind of asked around and we got a bunch of people interested in doing it. But then, but then the pandemic happened. And so we had to put everything on hold. So I was so happy when, we, uh, when you contacted me, let me know that we were going to do this for 2023. And it felt really far away back then. It really did. I know I felt so far away and now it's just a couple of weeks, yep. but I have to say from our perspective at the foundation, you know, hearing the enthousi enthusiasm from you, but also uh, the engagement and creativity because I had said to you at the time, yeah, I've heard of it. Yeah, I'd love to do it. But do you think anyone's going to dance? Because at the end of the day, if no one's going to dance and no one's going to partner with us to help that happen, we can't have an event. I so. had the in on the party scene <laughs> at the CCH, so I knew, I knew who was a dancer, yeah. I knew who to approach. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and in fact, we've kind of talked about doing this in future years too, so I'll probably be asking you for help enlisting, and since it's on camera, then we have a I've record of it. I've already started my recruitment efforts. Oh, amazing. <laughs> so what are you both looking forward to most about March 4th then? Uh, I am looking, so it's been 25 years since I performed, so I want to manage everybody's expectations, but I, I remember there's such, a, there's such an excitement and almost a delirium that happens at the time of, of a performance, I mean you've performed a lot more than me, so there's this, it's like, it's like the day of an exam, but but in a much more positive a way of like, you, <laughs> you know it as well as you're going to know it. You can't practice yeah. anymore and now it just becomes about enjoying the, enjoying the performance, enjoying the scene, enjoy being the star because that doesn't happen to everybody very often and in this case it's also for a really good cause. Yeah. That's right, I agree with that completely. For me it's, it's the enjoyment of performing, no question, but also the, it's been a while since I competed last. So I'm looking forward to actually performing as part of a competition and you're quite right and of course uh, the feeling is, is how it's wonderful that we're doing all this in support of such a wonderful hospital as community hospital. Cornwall Community Hospital. So it's interesting we're talking about the competition with them because there's there's a bit of a trick here, right? So it's half the points is dancing, mm -hmm. half the points is fundraising. Right. And so we're encouraging people, whether they have tickets or not, because we're now sold out. And if people don't have How tickets... How long will it take for us to sell out? I 24 hours? Yeah, yeah, exactly. Pretty much? Just a yeah, that's see, amazing. I love how excited she is because <laughs> I'm just as excited. You did such a good job. That's something I look <laughs> looking forward to, to see what you guys put together. Like, you worked so hard on this. I think uh, this is going to be an amazing event. It's going to be so much fun. And I think for us, you know, the nice part is if people couldn't get tickets, uh, they can watch it on your TV. So I know that your TV is going to be airing it a bunch of times, which is fantastic. But going back to that competitive note, mm -hmm. um, whether or not people can go, what we're still asking them to do is support your journey by pledging you. So for our audience members, you know, you can go to uh, www.cornwallhospitalfoundation.ca and find their team and pledge them towards, you know, the medical equipment that they want to support. Again, our top prize is uh, the Clinical Cup Trophy, bragging rights. Oh yeah. <laughs> and $50,000 worth of medical equipment. So could you tell me a little bit about your project that you've selected? So I've spent most of my time, and I still spend most of my time uh, in, at the Cornwall Hospital in the emergency department, which is where my heart is. Um, we, we do great work there, I think. We, there's uh, staff who are extremely passionate about what they do, and we have the privilege of taking care of some of the sickest patients at some of the most vulnerable times in their lives. We, the, um, some of the work that we do is, is resuscitating people who are extremely sick and the cornerstone of resuscitation is making sure that somebody can breathe properly and making sure that the air can actually get into their lungs and to do that you sometimes have to secure their airway which means that you have to put a tube in somebody's lungs to put them on life support so they can actually stay alive 
Um, the, the way that we do that more and more is with what's called video laryngoscopy. So we have a machine that does it. We have a single one, and we have limited attachments for it such that we actually can't use it on the smallest children and babies. So the project that I'm fundraising for is to buy us a new glide scope such that we now have two if we have a, a situation of multiple traumas, which happens, um, and we'll also be able to use it, again, for resuscitation of, of small children and babies. I'm a mom. I have a small child, and I like to think that our eMERGE is going to be as equipped as possible um, in terms of personnel and in terms of equipment to be able to take care of children. It's an excellent project. And I was saying earlier that, uh, you know, obviously Dr. Lemire has to use fancy footwork at the hospital, but yeah. uh, what and have you learned? Work. <laughs> and work, yes, exactly. <laughs> uh, your hand work, that's right. Um, and so what have you learned from your partnership, Anthony, uh, with oh. a medical professional who's oh my goodness. dancing? I've learned, I've learned an awful lot. First of all, as I just mentioned, I've learned to, uh, to love I've learned to love and experience the whole aspect of performing and competing again. But I've, se I've seen you think on your feet as we're doing part of the choreography. And I realized, oh, that's, that's where <laughs> being a doctor comes in real handy when you're dancing. So yes, I've learned that from you. And how have you felt being on the dance floor again? It feels wonderful. I, I, w I was apprehensive at the beginning. I hadn't danced for a long time and I was worried that I wouldn't really remember everything and that I, I'd be really disappointed with myself and that I wouldn't be able to do it. Um, the routine we're doing is actually a routine that Anthony and, and Susan Powell did it's 20, 20 years, 20 years yeah. ago yeah. at a competition and they, when they found out the kind of dance that I wanted to do, they said, oh, well, we've, we've done this before. They showed me the video and I, I fell in love immediately, but, but I remember coming home that day and thinking, oh, geez, I, I don't know that I'm going to be able to do that. And through your incredible leadership and partnership and through Susan's um, artistic direction, we, I think we're doing a good job of it, and I'm so excited to show everybody. <laughs> I am too, definitely. And it's been only, only by having such a wonderful student as yourself that we've been able to accomplish the partnership in support of CCH. I think that's important to keep that in the background Absolutely. At, all, at all times. So last question for you both, why should people pledge your team? We've got six teams, but why should you come out on top? Wouldn't you want to support the winner? <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, I think we have, all, all the projects are excellent projects. Every single person competing is my personal friend. I will be happy regardless who wins. But this with one has the a expectation, place, right? yes, <laughs> the project has a special place in my heart, and I think, I think we stand a good chance. I think we're going to put on a good show, I and think I think so. people are really going to enjoy it. Perfect. Well, thank you so much. Can't wait till March fourth. Thank good you. Good luck. Thank you. Thank you so and we'll much. be cheering you on. Thanks. Thank you.